I think Jill told him to say that. There is no way in hell I would let Joe Biden near a TV, teleprompter, microphone with five days left to the presidential election. Last night, Joe Biden called all of you garbage. All the little black kids wearing MAGA hats in downtown Atlanta, garbage. Everybody that attended the Madison Square Garden rally that were Jewish, Hindu, black, white, garbage. All the Latinos down the southern border that like Donald Trump and like a secure border, you're all garbage. I think Jill Biden told him to say it. We're going to cover it this morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hold up. Let's get a little coffee here. Mm. Some unicorn farts. Boy, I tell you what, the Democrats are going to be raging. They were already freaking out last night. Minutes after Biden stuck his foot in his mouth. Donald Trump has no character. He doesn't give a damn about the Latino community. He's failed businessman. He's, he only cares about the billionaire friends he has and accumulating wealth for those at the top. You know, he says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Give me a break. He wants to do away with the birthright citizenship. Who the hell has said that in the last hundred years? Mm. And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Mm. Well, let me tell you something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know, or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. Mm. His, his, his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable, and it's un-American. It's totally contrary to everything we've done, everything we've been. Joe, if America, if half of America is garbage... You're driving the truck, dude. You are the truck driver. You just insulted 74 million Americans. Probably more. And typically when Kamala Harris opens her mouth, Donald Trump goes up in the polls. I think Joe did this on purpose. I think Jill was like, hey, we'll show them. They got rid of us against our will. Let's torpedo them. Let's get rid of Kamala. I think that's what happened. Right, you know, Trace, I'm furious tonight, like countless Americans around the world, with what our current commander in chief called millions of us, right? He called us garbage. So I think the only person possibly more upset than I am right now is Kamala Harris, who knows that nothing she said today, nothing she will say over the next six days is going to matter anymore because the Democrats today told us how they feel about us. I need to remind everyone watching right now, this is not the Democrat party of your father and your grandfather. Mm -hmm. It's not the Democrat party of JFK. It's not the party that my parents believe they should have registered under when they came to this country as Jewish immigrants. The party has changed. There's a party that doesn't care about Americans. They will stop at nothing to win an election, including calling their opponent Hitler when they know better. The American yeah. people obviously know better. And when American lives are on the line, I'm sickened tonight, truly sickened, not as a Republican or a Trump supporter, just as an American. And I know countless others share that view. I'll tell you what, the Democrat Party's done a really good job of uniting anyone that disagrees with them. There used to be some people that were kind of middle of the road. Well, they have pushed them into the ditch, pushed them into the garbage can with me and many of you. And I have more in common with all of you watching than the people in the news that are telling you this stuff. I pump my own gas, right? Walk my dogs before making this video. Democrat Party has done a really good job of ostracizing normal Americans. Every rally Kamala Harris has... She has a laundry list of celebrities. Now, they are probably on some other list, either Diddy or Jeff's, but they're on some list. And Kamala is not running on merit. She's not running on policy. She is running on divisive rhetoric and insults now. And she had a chance for three and a half years to get rid of Joe Biden, distance herself from Joe Biden. And she should have, because last night, Joe Biden absolutely destroyed her campaign with a little 30-second clip. Destroyed it. And the mainstream news, I say mainstream, I want to say lamestream news, CNN, MSDNC, they're trying to cover for it. Even Politico is trying to cover for Joe by adding an apostrophe to one of the quotes 
to make it look like he didn't say what he said. That's how false the news media is. Call the crime scene investigators is all I got to say. Biden said that he's talking about the comedian, not supporters. What's your response? Uh, my response is that, is that the first statement from Joe Biden is the one that he truly believes. He does not think that people who disagree with him or his party, who support President Trump, are, you know, are Americans. He thinks that they're garbage. That's a fact. And, and, the reason, and what I go back to is four years ago, around this same time, it was Joe Biden that went on The Breakfast Club, and he famously said that if you couldn't vote for him, then you, you know, weren't black. black. It's the same Joe Biden made the same type of statement four years ago. So this is consistent with who he is. Biden said that he's talking about... What do you think about that? Everybody forgets that. If you don't vote for Joe, you ain't black. Does that mean Kamala's not black because she's not supporting Joe? Think about that for a second. If Kamala doesn't support Joe because of Joe's own words, she's not black. Neither is Michelle. Neither is Barack. You got to vote for Joe or you're not black. Your current sitting president said that, right? That's, that's the interesting part of this whole conversation. They got rid of Joe. Against his will, there was an absolute coup that happened because Kamala Harris did not get one single vote in the Democrat primary. Joe got 14 million from all black people, according to his own words. Kamala didn't get any, and she replaced him. And now Joe, seeking a little revenge, weekend at Joe's, somebody fired up the radio and gave him a little life and put him in front of a camera, and it was so glorious to watch. I think that now the Democrats have an opportunity, well, they've got somebody to blame now. Before, they were looking for someone to blame if and when Kamala Harris loses, and now they have their scapegoat. That's why I'm wearing the hat, scapegoat. The only garbage I see out there are his supporters. Mm. No, it is the deplorables moment again. I'm really surprised he said that because when, you be, when you're called um, human garbage, it motivates you to get off your rear end, off the sofa and go and vote. I, I wouldn't do that in the 43 counties where people are saying, ah, it may be raining. I don't think I'm going to do it. But I just, the president of the United States just called me garbage. I'm a little pissed off about that. I, I think. I think there's going to be a campaign ad coming out this morning with Joe Biden driving a garbage truck. It's just going to be Donald Trump saying, I approve this message. I really think that's all Trump has to do is just at the ev end of every clip that Kamala and Joe make, just say, I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. It's free advertising. It's absolute free advertising. I think I'm going to go stand in line and I'm going to vote. I, I think that was a mistake, and I'm sure it's going to get a ton of social media tomorrow. I mean, I know he wishes right he could take that back. He is the president of all that garbage. Remember, <laughs> he represents everybody, everybody, including the garbage. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> yep, that is crazy. He's crazy. This race is crazy, and it's Seven days away until election day. And apparently O'Leary's going to wait in line to vote right now. Kevin O'Leary's going to go wait in line to vote. First comment always wins on Twitter. And I want you to never forget a famous quote by a very amazing and famous president. Barack Hussein Obama had a very famous quote that is so important right now. Never underestimate Joe's ability to F things up. That's a very famous quote from Barack Hussein Obama. Great American president, right? I think it's amazing. And Joe delivered on the goods. Thank you, Barack. He was in his house, the White House. He was in his house doing this. Uh, and, and, and the reporting is that... There are places that he could be useful, but he's not everywhere, like you might expect 
a sitting president to be for his vice president? I, I don't know that I would expect this president to be everywhere in this moment. I mean, look, a critical element, any coach will tell you, any CEO will tell you, a critical element of running a team and winning is assessing the strengths and weaknesses of your team members and making sure you allocate them in the right way. Joe Biden has never been a big arena speaker. He's never been the most fluid speaker. And by the way, as someone who had a stutter growing up, it's very obvious to me that there's an apostrophe at the end of supporters there. He was referring to the garbage spewed by supporters, not simply the supporters themselves. But Joe Biden has been on the campaign trail. He's best getting ice cream in Maryland like he was today. He's best showing moments of empathy in Arizona like he was. Even she has to laugh. This guy said that Joe has a stutter and that's why he called us garbage. <laughs> Oh, man, we're dumb. If you believe this, you are so dumb. If you watch CNN and believe this, you are dumb with a little D and two M's. Was last week. He's best with union folks as he was in Pittsburgh last week as well. Um, you use people where they are best. You put Obama in a big arena, you put Michelle in a big arena, and you put Joe Biden in front of a bunch of union people doing retail I mean, politics. You could make the argument that they would be fine if Joe Biden wasn't anywhere near a well, microphone you, between you, now and next Tuesday. But, yeah, you, let, let me just accept the most charitable framing of this, which you just gave. Mm. Why is he sitting in front of a laptop? At the exact same moment, Kamala Harris is out on his backyard trying to give the closing argument to her campaign. What in the world is he doing? Now, I don't accept your framing of it personally because I actually do believe he, Harris, the Democratic Party, and most of their campaign do believe that half the country is garbage. They've also said people who go to Trump rallies are Nazis. And so it's pretty apparent the disdain with which they hold half of the country in. That's not true. That's not true. Already already oh, joke, that's joke, already, already but, but when is Kamala Harris going to come out and disavow calling all of you schmatzies? When, when, when are they going to come out and disavow that? Is it after she gets elected? After you all go vote for her? They've been pissing on our leg and telling us it's raining for years. Because now we're not supposed to believe that they've been just insulting us for the last, I don't know, seven years. Right? But he's absolutely right, Scott Jennings. Kamala Harris held the rally outside of the White House in the backyard. Joe's inside on a laptop doing an interview at the exact same time. This is absolute political sabotage. And I love it. Joe, you came through, brother. Fist bump. I love you, Joe. Not really. But man, when you F up, you F up so much better than anybody else. But, but as a, but as in a, Kamala's speech tonight. But as a tactical matter today. No, but you don't just get to say that. Why in the world is Joe Biden giving remarks at the same so, uh, oh, time? I'll give you that. I'll give you I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. CNN's melting down. They know Joe should not have been anywhere near a camera or a microphone, but I really think Jill said, hey, Joe, go in there and, and do some talking. Go in there and do some talking, Joe. We'll teach them. We'll, we'll, we'll teach them what's going on. Wow. That's terrible. That's what it says. That's what it says. So you have, remember Hillary, she said deplorable. And then she said irredeemable, right? But she said deplorable. That didn't work out. Garbage, I think, is worse, right? But he doesn't know. You have to please forgive him. Please forgive him. For he not knoweth what he said. You think the Democrat Party regrets not getting rid of Joe now and just absolutely sending him off to a library or a retirement home? Because I think Kamala will regret it more than anyone else in America.
the Democrat Party. I'd love to know where James Carville is right now. Can we get like a proof of life on James Carville? The deplorable moment is nothing. That's gone now. Joe calling you garbage. That's where we're at, people. That's where we're at. I'm the vet biker. You guys take care. Things are getting crazy. Go vote. You pieces of garbage. You